Lula, going to sleep is like making a tea. It's easy to make, you've done it a thousand times, but it always feels like it's missing that ingredient to make it perfect. Ah, oh, that's the one. But for this sleep analogy, a missing ingredient would be a manta sleep mask to improve your sleep and turn it from an A to an A star. Then the manta sleep mask is probably the final missing piece of that puzzle. The mask isn't like any others I've tried, you know, the ones where you have the gel around your eyes but it doesn't fit properly, or the ones with the coarse materials which feels like it's sandpapering your face off, or the piece de resistance, the ones with the crappy straps which are way too tight. No thanks. All of Manta Sleep Masks eliminates all of these problems with fully adjustable straps to suit all your sleeping styles, made from durable soft materials that are all breathable 100% blackout and have zero pressure on your eyelids. All of these things combined make the perfect eye mask for a superior night's rest. My Manta Sleep Mask, which lives right next to me on my pillow, will keep it night time for a couple more crucial hours when it's unsociably daylight in the morning, which is incredibly helpful for me when I roll up into bed at 4am in the morning. My Manta Sleep Mask ensures I'm undisturbed in my sleep and keeps it night until I've woken up. This is the way. They're made by people who actually care about sleep improvement so head to mantasleep.com the link in the description and check out their wide range of masks with all different unique features and their wide range of accessories and bundles on offer too and should you add one or maybe two or impressively three to your basket then make sure you use the code fred and get 10 percent off your order thanks manta sleep for sponsoring tonight's smr video we hope you enjoy we will because it's Lego. Hello there, and welcome to tonight's midweek ASMR video where we will be building probably one of the most awesome, best sets which Lego has created. And yes, it's a Lego ASMR build. These are the ASMR videos which I think we get into a different zone of ASMR, different type of relaxation. We go for the relaxing building, we go for the clicky break sounds, we go for the rummaging sounds, and also to appreciate some amazing Lego. And this is a set which I think is reasonably new. Let me get that out for you. And this includes the four, I think this is the scale as well to the minifigures, the four ATST and with ATST accessories on Hoth. So if you're familiar with Empire Strikes Back, you'll see on the AT-80s when they're going to cross there, the ATSTs are walking along by the side of it. And included we have the ATST pilot there. And this one flips up, that looks pretty awesome. And then we have the Rebel uh, Hoth Trooper, wherever she is, somewhere. There we go, Hoth Rebel Trooper there. And then Chewbacca, which is a specifically Hoth Chewbacca. And I don't think I had Chewbacca since I was probably about nine or 10. And he's filled with snow and stuff and it looks pretty awesome. Had the pilot there as well, the driver. And then we have probably the worst thing ever is the Imperial Probe Droids because they scared the crap out of me and I think they still do. Uh, but yeah, the box looks so awesome. This is the first box, which is here. A rectangular shape and looks really cool to me. And these have been sold out for ages, so when I saw they were in stock, I had to get it and uh, make a video from it. Okay, but we're gonna make this tingly relaxing and something for you to switch off to and hopefully get a lot of ASMR tricks there and all of your Lego suggestions or if you're creating yourself tag me on my story on Instagram and let me know down below all of your Lego ideas because I'm actually a big fan so. <laughs> okay and then we have the ATSD on the back here which looks so awesome in an action shot and it has flick fire missiles on there as well it looks really imposing but the shape i can just tell this is going to be something which satisfies my asmr quite a lot and it's just a very satisfying build the long legs and the big feet 
as well. It's just going to look so awesome. Chewbacca there looks so cool. The Rebel Hoth Trooper uh, that looks good as well. You can get like extension packs for this as well to add on. But I mean, the Beast of Resistance would be the AT80, which I love and looks so awesome. But we wanted something a little bit more compact and smaller for tonight because I predict this is probably going to take an hour. Could be wrong. Let's see the size of the video. But yeah, it's got all these functionalities. Things turn around on the turret, things move. You've got the missiles and then you can change leg position. So overall, this is a very cool set. I'm very much looking forward to building it. So I think that's the general tingle box as much as possible. That there is 100 pages, so I think it's going to be quite a decent size sort of build. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Mistakes are oh, can't wait. Now I had a yeah, 
it starts off with the tiniest of pieces. So I can't even remember how long ago it was, but I did get one of the original ATSTs, and I seem to remember that came with an Ewok or Ewoks, and then it had like an Ewok catapult. See, my fingers are too fat to even put that on there to begin with. I can't get that on there. Let's try another one. We opted for this very soft table just because it's more Lego tingly sounding in my humble opinion. <laughs> is this the biggest one? I don't know if it is. Okay, so we need four of these things. Where are you taking this thing? That sound. It's just such a great ASMR sound. And so is that. And so is that. It all sounds great to me. Okay, so four of these. One, two, three, four. And then on the side, we have this thing. And then on the top, a smoothed out version here as well. And then we need to make four of those. There's always that bit which I love with the Lego sets when it turns into a Lego set and you see early on like what part you're actually building like when it starts to take the, the natural form the, the probe droid and that's uh, what we've just uh, begun with but it's taken too uh, long <laughs> because I want to build the ATS date and call me impatient but uh, that's what I'm looking forward to so much okay that's more like it it's because my fret fingers they never quite uh, go very well with those tiny tiny fiddly bits and in that probe droid there were a lot of tiny tiny fiddly bits <laughs> the thing is the probes I didn't even know that included was included really forgot about it and uh, pro droids were always something which terrified me when I was a kid um, and that was when I was playing Battle Jedi Knight not Battlefront equally an amazing game um, but Jedi Academy no, Jedi Knight Jedi Outcast and when you're on your missions and kind of like you're there on your own you hear it all and you feel with so well, I used to feel so immersed in those things, and then you'd hear that iconic probe droid sound, you know. <laughs> Sorry for the abysmal, abysmal uh, impression there, but uh, yeah, then when you'd hear it, and you get a little bit closer and closer, and then all of a sudden it's it's chaos. And it goes mad, and, and it starts screaming, and and then it starts shooting at you, and follows you around quickly. And no, <laughs> it used to scare me. And I swear that it used to come out on, like when you're in a tunnel or something, just at the points where it would scare you the most. And it certainly did that for me. Like I think I was a little bit tormented by them, <laughs> just a little bit. And uh, it was then I think it was anything like that, the probe droids. And I swear there was another droid on that game as well. It's kind of like a probe droid, but it was more rounded. And that used to scare the hell out of me too. It's just, I don't know why, it's just eerie. Uh, these things floating around with guns on them, like blaster turrets. And uh, you know your lightsaber's not going to deflect them all. Scary stuff. Uh, 
really set up to enjoy Lego and I think already I've reached that stage where you're building and and then just you're just doing it you don't even realize you're doing it that's the best kind of Lego building for me I think that's probably the most enjoyable as well don't know why but it just it's so satisfying and it's one of those things where you could just so easily switch off and hopefully that's the kind of enjoyment you get from watching the lego builds there as well i get so many and i assume because you're just awesome and love it as much as i do but so many requests for, for lego all the time um, which is pretty awesome and i know that there's been a you as well who, you've uh, sent me your builds show me your builds and and i being a lego enthusiast myself appreciate um, all the builds and the marks and mods and everything like that i find them quite amazing i think because i appreciate what sort of goes into actually that's the wrong one there anyway okay we we'll rectify that but what goes into making uh, lego sets like to me I just think, how the hell do they create that? <laughs> don't know why. But it must be complicated to, to make something from scratch from Lego. It's not so much getting the shape, but it's it's knowing when to start. Like, how do you know that that's gonna turn into that? You've got to do all these intricate, please stay there. <laughs> intricate things. Does that require one more on there? I don't think so. You could do all these intricate things to make it functional as well as look awesome and uh, that i have a lot of respect for and i'd love to see it. i could say it pretty much all the time i'd love to see how they actually make the sets like, i'm a very big fan of lego and of course i'm a very big fan of asmr so i'll try to combine the two so we get some great Lego building and some relaxation at the same time and enjoy the sounds. I think probably where it was one of those things to me when I was younger, which I used to just switch off. I'd enter just a completely different zone and I'd zone out and I'd enter the world of Lego and that was it. It was just me and my Star Wars Lego. <laughs> and I'd love building and creating things and action scenes and things like that and just think like how far it's developed since those days of yellow brick faces um it's kind of crazy really when you think about it i mean there's so many incredible sets and uh, awesome lego things these days okay so we've got apparently some things here i'm not sure now how that stays in place well i tell you how that stays in place because you meant to put it on here that's why and this is oh i see you have to do it this way and is this detail i think this is going to be a functional something to move the legs i remember on my old atsd like the legs being able to move i'm pretty sure they'd clip and move and then I'm not sure if the turret turned around or not. I can't really remember too well. It was such a long time ago. But it was one of my favorite sets. And we have a, an escapee. Yeah. Where have that gone? There we go. That's awesome. It clearly does something. So I think this is going to add something which my other set never did. Cool. So something. very very detailed thing there okay and the cog fits in let me get this right so that's pointing down that fits in there apparently and there's that moved it yes and now we are oh, i love that so much to me that is so satisfying it's just those tiny tiny things like it like i know i get quite often as well like visual ASMR, yeah, it doesn't need to be any sounds, I see something, it's satisfying, sounds are just the bonus, <laughs> and then, and then 
that's another group in there. And then I'll just get triggered. Right, so that literally just sits in there with nothing on there. How? Oh, how does it do that? Is that really? Is that really the way? I have to double check that. Apparently so. So yeah, that just literally sits on there. It's a cock on the wall. All right. And I assume that falls down there. I foresee that this isn't going to go right. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just foresee it. But that's awesome. Okay. Um, you, buddy, I meant to fix yourself on there. There we go. Okay. And then. There it is. Well, there we go. I love that. That's so good. So it's already rotating. So this is going to be amazing. I have a feeling. We need to put some detailing on there. So at the front we have a long one and then two detailed pieces there and then and a complete smooth one at the back. And then at the front we have a nice long one there. And yes, I feel like we're oh, we've got eight of these, so these go across here. One, two, three, four. We're at the point where I think it's quite obvious. Like I always love that moment when it you start doing the build and you actually see the shape of it. But we're at that point of knowing <laughs> what it is for sure. You know it tells you in the thing, but I love the surprise of myself. And this very much looks it's starting to look like the cockpit of the ATSD. And when you get to that point, I don't know if it's sad because it could almost be over. I don't know. Apparently it wasn't the missing piece, actually, it was something else. So there is, unless I just said one, in which case, yes, it did. I was just getting ahead of myself, so make sure that's on the right side, one there. And then we have here and here and some detailing, smooth bits, probably my favorite parts is attaching the smooth bits onto the build just because I love the smooth texture. I think it looks so good. Okay, smooth bit on top. There, we eight of those there, the grill and there. Then on the front we have this thing. Where are you taking this thing? I assume that's designed specifically for the set as I've not seen a part like this ever before, but it still looks pretty awesome. You could tell that's the back. Or maybe it's not actually, it could be the front. <laughs> In which case, I'm very wrong. Okay. And then at the front, we have one small section there, which is meant to slot on. There it is. No, it's not. There it is. Okay, and that goes in the middle. Just about there. Awesome. We're nearly on back to already. Alright, so we got some tiny, tiny detail things. See, I think this is one of the things as well, when I was younger, like I would have loved to have access to cameras and things and, and record and make videos. Like I was pretty obsessed with it when I was younger, um, but I didn't have any of those things. I assume if it was younger Fred, then there's some crazy detail bits that's going on here at the moment, so I should probably concentrate. Um, but if it was younger Fred, then I'm pretty sure that I would have been doing stop motion or something like that with all of my Lego pieces and making as many film movie set pieces as I could. That would have been completely awesome. Um, but I think more so that I would love to have recorded myself actually making the Lego sets, that would have just made me feel pretty cool watching it now. <laughs> watching back and seeing myself enjoy Lego after all these years. I just didn't, for some reason, I, you didn't really have cameras back then, I suppose. And it wasn't a thing you just whack it out of. 
a camera and take it and, and then get your cameras developed um, so you can really take awesome pictures or anything like that which is kind of sad really because I totally would have done all that and made um, the most out of all of my Lego pieces okay so we check that that's looking good we can cue that that's looking awesome and this is the probe droid which we'll move on to later I didn't get an ADSD pilot, uh, which is uh, well, must have. How could you have not got one? But I feel like I didn't. If anyone would like to check, then by all means, be my guest. <laughs> um, but I love the one in Return of the Jedi where the Ewoks climb in and he's going, No, 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 buddy, and he's punching, <laughs> trying to punch the Ewoks. I just find that hilarious. He's an evil looking dude, but he looks great. And he's part of the Fred Lego Imperial squad. Looks great to me. Alright, so Boston building is about to take place. There is one set which I just love so much and I've had my own head, but I feel like I can't get it because I haven't built my Millennium Falcon yet and uh, turned into a wicked coffee table with lights, but it's on my to-do list. Though this set has been sort of tormenting me every time I walk past my local Lego store and it was just there in the window just looking absolutely amazing. And that is the 8080 full Lego size. I mean, it just looks so good. It just looks so amazing. And I would love to get it so much, but I just, I don't even know where to put it. That's the thing. I think I could probably just zone out and actually just play with everything. But yeah, I just wish I had it because it just looks so good. But if any one of you have got it, then boom in. It means tag me in on uh, Instagram on your store or something so I can see it. And uh, I would appreciate it for you because I know that it's gonna look amazing. Right, so we've got very specific things it's saying to do here. So it's got a way not to do it saying pop these on and then pop two of these on. Do you know what's strange is that I seem to have already entered the, the Lego building. So I'm not really paying attention to the instructions, I was just looking at the picture and just guessing as you go along. I think that's probably the most fun. Sure, it's a risky business and leads into mistakes for which some builds Sometimes things are just that important, but some builds, which I've done, they are littered and inundated with minor mistakes because I've either been talking too much or it's been really, really late and or I've just been too relaxed actually doing it myself that I start to begin to make mistakes and I don't know who's to blame for that one, but yeah, there could be a lot of problems. There's a long bit here somewhere. We know you're here. We know you're here. Somewhere. But we can't find you. This bag doesn't look like it's big enough to actually do anything. Right, so there's this bit, but it's a long bit in here. Don't know what these ball bearing ones are for. I assume these actually affect fire missiles or something. like it's been made specifically for ASMR and it's great and I love Lego for that. <laughs> okay, so we've got some detail to put on the top here. So we've got an upright bit here. Then we've got the rounded 
which look like they're gonna break straight away but still we will humor that and then this on top of that there and that goes on top of there is this the seat we're gonna be too sure but i feel like it probably is it would have been cool is this i think this ATST st is in scale with the aat though could be It's only got room for one Lego pilot, I think. It would have been good to have the, the, the two in there. That would have been pretty cool. And then we had this weird piece I've never seen before. Right, so that's where the, the legs fit in, which is probably a pretty good idea. Hi. Hi, there we go. So the legs sort of fit in there, which is, which is cool, I suppose. These new bits, you always find new pieces. I mean, do you? You're probably an already an avid Lego builder, ASMR lover, and you've seen all these pieces, but to me, it's always a great mystery. Okay. There we go. same again on the other side for which I cannot find any of the same pieces why I don't know there we go that's why so we want that long piece 
change the ambition and the This is quite, I'd say it's quite mechanical, is when things slot into things, uh, so you know stuff's going to be moving around and be a lot of fun and awesome, uh, which I kind of like that because you know that it moves, I can't remember if it was Lego that actually did this, but I used to have these <laughs> B1 battle droids, and uh, you would, you'd build it in this kind of like the back and then the arm would move up with the with its gun and then you could fold it all down it was, i loved it so much it was so cool that you could get a droid the car one and other variations on that as well um, but that's kind of what this style of lego building reminds me of apparently there's three of these and uh, i feel like i'm missing something so i probably should make sure i do it do it which bit hang off on the edge there, one there, one there. I'm intrigued to know what these bits actually do there. They look pretty good. Okay, and then on the top we have the corner bits where we assume they go there and there. Then some squared off detailing. It's really sad because I can see it taking shape I know within seconds this is actually going to look like an ATSD straight away <laughs> and then I'm going to be wondering damn that went quick probably since probably nearly an hour at the moment right there's some sort of action shot here <laughs> which I find quite humorous right so this pretty much just snaps on it's made it look like it snaps on there but no, it doesn't. We'll leave you there. Uh, that goes on top. This. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> I was getting slightly concerned there that it looked nothing like the picture. Then this. Oh dear. Let's probably check that, see what that was. Yeah, that seemed like it, it was that fiddly bit. Didn't seem like it was important, but it's it's quite important, I suppose. Well, hopefully it is because it's annoying. <laughs> and it keeps coming off. Come on, just go on there and stay there. Okay, and that is looking good. See, it looks like the back of an ATSD. Already. Detailing. It's a great part. Because all the smooth bits just make the Lego sets look like a model, which is pretty great. Okay. Okay. And on the back, let's see, nice smooth bits. Looking great. 
not liking the look of this. Fred is liking the look of this very much. Okay, and then, hmm. So we are one down. If you just go up, that's what's. My nail coming off there. That's tricky. There we go. So we went one too far. There we go. That's good. And this final piece at the bottom. There. That looks so good. Just a tiny bit there. See? And then just from nowhere. It just looks like an ATSD. It does to me anyway, the back of it. sets that you've just had your eye on and think would be 
absolutely awesome. I mean, probably all the sets when I was younger, if I knew that had all this potential, uh, then I would have just wanted everything. Don't fall off. See, we opted for, I think this was the first table I used for, I think it was the, was it the X-Wing? Lego X-Wing was the first smart Lego video we built. And that was probably one of my favorite sets of the world. And that still sits on my desk just because it was just awesome. And get it back into uh, the Lego vibe again. And finding a new sort of form of ASMR, which I didn't even realize at the time, uh, was just awesome. So that's why it lives there now, because of that. And because it looks awesome as well. Because, uh, it's a uh, timeless set. Okay, I feel like we just made an A-wing. Right. I feel like we need to pay attention a little bit here. Don't want to be caught out at all. Okay, but there's one pointy bit which you can point out there. That's great. Oh, we're good. Now we're to get into the complicated bits of why feel like we should be just doing two at the same time, it might just be better and doing it opposite, but okay. I'm curious to know, apart from sort of relaxing to these, if you actually do build, I know some of you said that uh, you built along whilst I've been building it, which I love so much, but is that actually a <laughs> thing? Uh, pretty awesome if you do. Okay, so this probably should get that right because that's not meant to move. Red piece goes in there and then apparently it goes through the red piece there and locks into place on the foot. There. That's pretty cool. Right, and that is it and then to have it locked into place. This literally goes on the top here. Yeah, that's pretty clever. So it ensures that the leg is well supported. See, it's not just about the design, but I like it. It's proper sturdy because that's always the greatest worry when you're younger is if that you drop or any age really, but if you drop your Lego sets then you sure as hell got to be very prepared mentally to get through the next couple of hours. Okay, so we need one of these, a small bit. Yeah, I 
remember looking at who's the Gungan I should know his name but you know what Qui-Gon Obi-Wan and Jar Jar go through under the, in the sea under the boo through the planet core and that set was probably one of my favorite things and I loved it so much and building it to me well for years it looked like the actual set it looked amazing uh, in my head but then when I saw it uh, how many years ago recently uh, it was a big shock because <laughs> it looked, kind of looked so well, not very like it at all which was maybe a bit sad because when I was younger to me it looks just like the actual thing so oh we have a droid is this a generic piece then like a droid body part because if so that's awesome that has been utilized there we go uh, yeah it's kind of a bit sad but kind of funny as well right and then we have one hook i think if the backs were separated a little bit more accordingly so if you, it's one leg in one back one leg in another back then uh, i would enjoy it just a little bit more maybe maybe that's the the fun of doing it is trying to find it and locate literally every single piece but, so there's one bit in here which is quite a unique piece though i have not seen it yet there it is we got it okay now you fit so nicely on there yeah that just looks so cool it's just detail but it looks brilliant <laughs> does to me anyway okay now we are putting together some 80 sd legs so we need right. to but it's functioning for detail like so there we go and now it looks like an amazing leg then we have four more pieces the thing that makes me really happy by the way is when you you see these pieces actually go down so you know the next bit is going to be really a lot easier to make <laughs> right so that there gap then one coming out there then a gap then another one coming out there and i feel like this makes sound possibly not as much as we'd hope and this on the end Yeah. 
Okay, and this fits there. And then clips on here, I think. So if that's just detail, then that's pretty cool as well. It looks good. Now we've got some sort of comic depiction thing going on here now. Right, so we've got this bit and then a dark bit on top and then this clicks like so. On top of that we have this here. Yeah, clicks on like so. And it just says one bit and then this apparently goes on here. Yeah. Apparently. Apparently, apparently, apparently. Does it? Yeah. Perfect. That's good. Right. So we're still adding on to the leg. I think. Are we? <laughs> Not sure. We moved on to the other leg. Right. I think the other leg's in there actually. first tendon ready. Okay, let's draw the second. So that goes on very, very delicately. There, and then through the top bit, this bit goes on here, just about to take on there. Yes, are we in business here? Has this actually worked? Looks like it might have. This is looking good. This is looking so cool. Right, so I just very respectfully just lay you there. Good point. So I think we're still adding detail on the side of leg there. So I thought there was going to be two legs in here, so I could be very wrong. Yeah. 
top kind of my favorite detail for some reason. And then what we have underneath is this and this smooth piece which goes on top and hangs off there. And then a small square bit. I suppose these are the fiddly details which Fred just loves so much. which I've somehow managed to break already right on for it. Okay, so that fits on there delicately. There we go. Cool piece of detail. Right, that's one leg. Completed surely this. It could be actually all the pieces in there. Right, let's crack on with this other leg. Probably at this point you are feeling completely zoned, is the word probably, and uh, triggered is smart quite a lot. I mean, it's those, I suppose the trickiest bit for me for building is the small pieces, but at the same time, it, I find it really tingly, like those sounds, they just uh, make me feel very smart. that sort of euphoric feeling that you get when you're doing it it feels good and I suppose that's the whole point of these themed ASMR videos straight away. Then we go straight on to details. Snuck, which reminds 
be at the back of the biplane Legos, which we used to have fits in there. This seems to be quite a chunk of book left, so that's pretty good. I suppose we got all this <laughs> still. Okay, they look like the larger pieces, which is pretty awesome. Okay, then we have the hook on the end, and then a smooth round bit that goes on the top. Yeah, which looks pretty great. don't look right on there, but apparently that's right. Okay, was that four that I put in there? There should be one there, one there, and four. Okay, one in there, two. Right. And on top. This bit goes on top there. And then take 
that's why it makes click click noises. It says it on the right. These bottom there, top there, click on like so. Click 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 clad flisk something else. Which I can't read it. Right, there we go. Then this should seamlessly go onto there and this moves around which I didn't know the first time So it's this thing again. Then we have the three on the game. And it's a left out like that. Click that out like so. And then It's just the inner bit, the shell's not even on. I love it already. Okay, and then we've got to add the details. Now we forget about the detail. Okay, on the top there, three down, two there. Detail in the middle, connect them both. Then on the top here we have this on top, and then a circle here, and a square bit here. Then this fits on the top section here and hangs off. Line that a little bit better, and then this on the back end that's facing there has that on here. And then this is meant to, if I remember correctly, it just fits on there, which it does, and it looks great. Yes. I was wondering what these big cogs were. So these fit here so you can do nothing with them. <laughs> I feel you turn them and the legs will move for some reason. Boy, I think I think that. I don't know. And then on top we have these awesome plates which go here and here. And then on the top there. And 
that's that section. Looking great to me. Looking so good. I like that. And here it goes on the on the right of Warrior before. So this is pretty cool. And the gun is somewhere located in here. is quite skeleton looking at the moment. A lot of small tiny bags which is always the big turn off. But a lot of big pieces in here which is the opposite. Shall we Alright. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Fred. This is weird. <laughs> this is the pieces just don't. This is the weirdest, strangest, confusing Lego build that I've done so far, which is depicting these sections. Okay, so those go on the edge. Apparently there. And then we have this smooth rounded bit.
this is the detail you have to pay attention, I suppose. Okay, otherwise there'll be mistakes. Happy little mistakes, though. Happy little Lego mistakes. This is depicted as grey. So that's what we want. That's what we want. Crazy Crest was a Lego build. I mean, just let me know your favorite Lego one, stop it. Uh, but that build that we did was so awesome. And it was just sucked so much that it got blown up <laughs> in the show. And at this point, I'm making this. I'm watching the book of Boba Fett. And if you're not aware of the channel, Skyman Universe, that's where I do that's react to it just because I'm a massive fanboy and I like to savor those moments um, Star Wars moments uh, because obviously I love it so much and at this point they hinted at the Mandalorian hurried out the Mandalorian after chapter 2 at the end of it and that's kind of really exciting then that he might turn up meaning he might turn up on a new ship because obviously his one got blown up and uh, That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, so this on the top was there. And these go. Of course, they're meant to go the other way. Of course. <laughs> but I've just connected you in place. Okay, so just very delicately turn these around. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Okay, and then you can go. that on properly. I think it is. And that goes down. Doesn't even go down the whole way, but if that's what it says it needs to do, then that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh, oh. No, thank you. Right, and then on like it just looking there like it's gonna shoot me <laughs> okay flip that back over looking good flip that back over also looking good so you want. and then turn it back over again and this nice is the control panel okay and then we have detail here which I think is actually if so, that is very impressive, is it? Because I haven't seen this piece yet. Surely I would have seen it. But there's a small, small, tiny control panel here. Is this it? Yes. Is that your 
generic control panel. I don't know, I thought it was specifically printed. Would have been cool if it was, but it's okay. Please happen to do the stickers. Okay, and then this literally is meant to attach on the top here. Okay, and then we have two of these flat pieces. 
pieces. They go together. Yeah. Then one in here. One in here. that it's nearly over but I hope at this point that you've found it very relaxing you've enjoyed the build the trigger throughout and uh, if you've got recommendations for what Lego builds and different ones then let me know and uh, hopefully you like this particular build personally I think it's an awesome one I could just tell you now that it's going to be completely awesome when we view it in its full entirety and beauty in one second and uh, just have a tingly, relaxing examination of it very shortly. Okay, that bit there, that's very satisfying. That's just that. And these grills look pretty awesome. Oh, sweet. And this is the bit that you're in the Ewox. Climb down see for my ATST. This is a hot ATST. <laughs> so Chewie's uh, ready to break in. And uh, save. Take on the other ATSTs and save the Ewoks. Crazy. Six shapes and then the legs here, the feet would move up and down, then the legs here would 
move as well and there's all sorts of movement here but you would invariably find that it will be off balance uh, which if you haven't got them right here I assume could be the same sort of thing but the small things in here like the cockpit there and then the guy can sit in there and do whatever he's doing and then Chewie can be on the top just like in Return of the Jedi I love that and then a couple of Ewoks you're good to go this has got to be to scale to the figures because it's pretty massive and that means it's probably in scale with the 8080 which is an awesome set I just wish that there were two spots in here for two minifigures because I feel like that could have easily been done and the holes could have been here so you could have seen them that could have been cool or just had a visor there but I think apart from that the hope with this has been a really relaxing build for you I mean there's not uh, only just this section here which I got as well because I thought well maybe you've got this bit here awesome ATST you might want to customize it a little bit more like I will and I think my when I do my Falcon my layout is going to be sort of a, a Falcon escape in Hoth base Rebel base so there's going to be snow troopers around and uh, it's going to be atmospheric so I thought I'd get one of these as well I might get a couple more just because I know they're going to fit in but also this matches the whole Hoth uh, assault that we've got going on here at the moment and it's going to be so awesome I love snow troopers. I think snow troopers look so good to so to see a battle pack with snow troopers and a scout trooper there as well is so cool. I love it so much and they are cool troopers there as well. Like you've got options with the guns and the, the blasters, shall I say. Uh, so that's a really nice addition and it will go great with your heart to set up. I mean the the dream is to uh, I didn't even realise but this, of course, I knew um, I was indicating snow there for our off uh, Lego build for today. I totally planned it. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to take it on the spinny table, but I think it's better on the snow. Yeah, and just have a good look at it and all the awesome features it's got and the turrets on the side. But yeah, anyway, this has been a slightly complicated build I'd say with all those fiddly bits but a very very enjoyable one and hopefully a really a small one for you as well and you're able to relax fall asleep and get into the lego zone and just switch off these longer lego videos are just something for you to I don't know if you're like a lego enthusiast like myself then just listen to watch in the background fall asleep to I don't know whatever you want to do but the priority is to relax enjoy so really hope you like it let me know all of your lego suggestions in the comments down below and uh, see what we can do for the next build so this is the AT ST and the snow troopers and not the probe choice I didn't build that because that's too scary so now so take care of yourself